The night may be young, but in less than five minutes, Sugar Rush Beat Company will transform the infamous Bush Hall into some kind of Willy Wonka sound system with their sweet, sweet sounds bouncing about the Art Deco walls. A fan of Sugar Rush? Defo. I'm loving the 80s tape deck. Look at that bit of 80s bling. Talking of bling, um, the Times recently surmised that Sugar Rush Beat Company were the greatest rock and roll alchemist since Sly and the Family Stone. What do you think about that, Mr. Bling Tape Deck Man? I saw one comparison to Outcast and another one to Prince. Circa Purple Rain Prince. era. Yeah, yeah. Not his recent toss. No, his old stuff. His old, old stuff. school Prince. Old but gold. Hi, look who it is, fucking Pete Dackerty. <laughs> do you remember Frank Sinatra or The Clash? <laughs> hey, what do you know about music, he says. What do you know about it? You probably don't even know who Peter Weller is. <laughs> I don't know who Martin Jagger is either, man. Jared, what do you think of this one? I've got to share this one with you. This is a Times, recent Times review. The Sunday Times culture described you as Sugar Rush Beat Company are the most exciting rock soul alchemists since Sly and the Family Stone. Ah, oh, look at that. You yeah. know, yeah, I'll frame that one then. Put that on the wall. Jules Holland's behind you. You've got yeah. RCA on board. You know. Come on, Radio 1. Bring on Radio 1. <laughs> See if you can get a little shot of Jared's trainers. This, this was on the rider. Um, Don't tell him that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> tell him that. Back no, no, no. It's my own hard-earned money. This was on the rider no. from Sony. <laughs> and he didn't even use them in the photo shoot. <laughs> no, I didn't. I love, them. <laughs> <laughs> I love a blagger. <laughs> One word, mate, is dapper. You, you mean... Oh, you're, you're looking fly, brother. You look, you don't look too bad yourself, mate. Thank you, pal. Oh, let's go home, shall we? Oh, no, no. He nailed planks of wood to his sandals. And he's walking around like Buzz Aldrin, watering the lawn, which is hilarious to two 14 year old stonets looking out the window. Mark, how far have you come to the Sugar Rush tonight? Uh, from Chessington in Surrey. You come from Chessington, home of Chessington World of Adventure. That's what it's famous for, yeah. It is, it is. But you're in for more fun and frolics than a roller coaster tonight, aren't you? Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, these are going to be huge, I reckon. You're getting confused with the fat horoscope reading GMTV presenter. Uh, maybe he does. Maybe he does have a sidelining comedy, you know, live at the Apollo, Russell Grant for laughter, tickles, and tarot. I'm loving the ponytail. <laughs> what's, what's your insp inspiration for the ponytail? Steven, uh. Steven Seagal or? <laughs> <laughs> So radiant, ladies. <laughs> Not as radiant as you. Did, did, did Sugar Rush put the beat in your company? Oh, they certainly fantastic. did. No, they were absolutely fantastic. And I can't believe when they said this is their first proper gig. They took us to the 70s, to the 60s, to the 80s, and they brought us right back to the modern day. So it was nice. It was very good. Leaving out all the bad stuff of the 80s, of course. Oh, yes, definitely. No shoulder pads there, no. <laughs> or leg warmers. Is that your first festival, Vic? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is our first. And next year's really our festival year. We're kind of a bit late for the festivals because the album... It's released at the end of summer, you know. Yeah, so. you've got to get it all staggered, haven't you, right? You do, yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna go back to your, your homeland and do the big day out? I'd love to, man. That'd be so cool. It'd be so good on my mates as roadies. Do you know what it reminded me of? Do you know when JK of Jamiroquai was first heard in America, they yeah. thought it was uh, they thought it was a black American woman yeah. and it's yes. not as a white English yeah. man. That's exactly that, what yeah. Paula said to me. <laughs> exactly, <earlier. laughs> yeah. There's a chap! Look at Trevor Chef over there, Maxwell! Take him out! Aim just right of the Reebok Classics! Spencer, top ten live experiences of all time? Two. Number two? Uh, that's not bad. What was number one? Uh, the Who. Oh, behind the who, behind Townsend's boys. <laughs> Even I've got to submit to that. Up, up the mods, up nah, the mods. It was really good. 